Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a sunburst chart in Microsoft Excel. Basically it looks like a stack sort of pie chart but it works a little bit differently. I'm going to explain to you how we're going to create this chart and I'm also going to tell you why I think that there are some better options. So here I have my data for my chart and one of the benefits of this type of chart is that the data is fairly easy to read. You're going to have your main headings down at the first column and for my data it's breads, pastries and cakes. So the kind of breads I have are sourdough and country and pastries are croissants, palmiers and tarts and cakes are slices, muffins and celebration. It's really important to have them organised like this so the first of your cakes is opposite the word cakes and the first of your pastries is listed off the pastries and so on with the breads and you want to make sure that you don't have any duplications that all your cakes are in this area and all your pastries are here. So we have a subgroup here our sourdoughs are split into loaves and buns and so if you have a subgroup for anything you're just going to put it in the next column and so we could read this as buns are sourdough breads you can just read it back this way. Palmiers are pastries, celebrations are cakes so that's really important to have this layout because that's going to just drop straight into the chart and obviously these are our sales figures. So for our chart I'm going to select over all of my data, I'm going to the insert tab, I'm going across here in the charts panel to the flyout menu and I'm going to all charts and down here is our sunburst chart so I'm just going to click on it and this is the chart that we get. I'm just going to click OK. One of the things that's immediately apparent is that we can't see half of our data labels. So I'm just going to make this chart much bigger because that's really the only option you have here is to make the chart bigger or the text smaller. There's an option in here that's not even showing that's our celebration cake. So I'm going to have to increase the size of this to actually see the text. I can click on this and go to the home tab of the ribbon and decrease the font size a little bit and that will make my labels more easily read. But you can't move the labels so unlike a lot of charts in Microsoft Excel this has some limited options and one of them is you can't move your labels. You also can't move your chart title so it's not going anywhere and it's obviously going to be taking up some room on your chart so while you could just go ahead and leave it there. It's also possible to delete it. Let's go to the plus sign and let's just turn off our chart title. So what I prefer to use for a chart title in these situations is just a text box. So I'll go to insert and I'll go to text box. I'm going to drag over my chart to add in my text box. I'm just going to call this bakery sales. It's possible now to select the text and increase it. We can also go to the shape format options and you'll see that because this is a text box there are lots of options for formatting our shape. I'm going to choose this one here, just going to make it a little bit thinner. So that overcomes one problem in that the chart titles aren't very easy to work with here. The other problem that you might encounter at this point is that you want to use better colours. So we're just going to click on the chart and I'm going to click again on pastries. You can see that pastries are now showing up. Now I want to leave my pastries in orange but I'd like each of these to be a lighter orange. So having selected pastries I'm now going to select the first of my data areas. So you can see that this is clearly selected. I'll right click and choose format data point. I'll go over here to the colours and instead of automatic this is the orange that we're using at the moment so I'm going to go one step lighter. I'm going to come down here to croissants, do the same thing, only this time I'm going two steps lighter. And for tarts, I'm going three steps lighter. Now if I click away, you'll see that my chart looks a lot different. I will also probably need to use black for my text because it's just not showing up here very well over the lighter elements. Now I'll go to cakes, I'm going to click on cakes but I need to click on it twice to make sure that everything else is greyed out or just sort of more transparent and cakes is actually really selected because now I want to make these green so I'm going to choose a dark green. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, I'm going to make sure that I select only one of these points, I'm going to go a slightly lighter green and then lighter still and lighter still. And I'll go and do the same with my breads again, making sure that I've got my bread selected. I am going to stick with the blue here, but let's go and get sourdoughs and let's make them 
a lighter blue and then the country is going to be lighter still. Now it is also possible to go one lighter on these. So I've just got loaves selected here. Let's go back to our colors and I could choose a lighter and actually slightly different color here to be able to color these a little bit differently. Now if this were a stacked pie chart we would have all sorts of options for moving these labels out somewhere where they were more easily read. If we just click on this chart and right click and go to format data series you'll see that when we have series options selected there are no series options. There's some limited color options not as many as we would expect with other types of charts. So we actually are quite limited in terms of what is available for this sunburst chart and as we've already addressed the titles don't, the chart title doesn't even allow itself to be moved. Now there is a slight problem here in terms of if I move this chart the title's not going with it. So what I'm going to do is place it in the position I want it to be in and I'm pretty happy with it here. I'm going to click on it I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the chart as well. So I have the chart and the title both selected. With the shift key still selected I'm going to right click and choose group group and that will group both objects together. So now when I move my chart the chart title is going with it. Now as I said I would explain to you why I think that this is just okay and that there is a better option. And this I think is the better option. This is a stacked pie chart. It's actually a donut chart and I have a video which is linked up here that shows you how to do this. The data is approached differently so you'll see that the arrangement of data is different but I think you'll find that you get a better result. You can see that the labels here are able to be formatted. We can have pointers into the data itself. Everything just works a little bit differently and a little bit better in this chart. So if you're interested just go view that video and I'll show you exactly how to get this effect. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.